Hello, I'm Freeman Rabowski, president of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, or UMBC. I can't tell you how honored I am to be receiving this Lifetime Achievement Award from BDPA. You ought to be congratulated on your 35th anniversary. It is amazing that as people learn about your organization, people who are not in IT, they are obviously impressed because people have no idea how many people of color, and particularly African Americans, there are who are trained in information technology. We know as a nation that we need many more people of all races uh, becoming IT professionals. And I've spent my career thinking about how we can get more persons of color and African Americans into STEM areas. You may or may not know that only about 2% of African Americans at age 25 have degrees in STEM broadly, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. That compares with about 6% of Americans generally. And so we know we need more uh, people who are interested in these areas, who can do well in these areas. The National Science Foundation says that over the next 10 years, we will need about 1.5 million people more than we are projected to have with degrees in these areas based on the jobs. Uh, the way we can produce more is by showing the nation and particularly young people about the possibilities. Your organization is excellent in doing that. You're doing the same things that we're doing here at UNBC, whether it's about mentoring or training in K through 12 and recognizing people for their achievements and bringing visibility to the idea of African Americans and other people of color in the IT profession. You know, I could not have imagined years ago that my campus would become the leading predominantly white university in the country in producing African Americans who go on to get STEM PhDs. I couldn't imagine that one of our African American women would become the first black woman to get a PhD in computer science from Purdue just in the past year, now in the faculty at, at Clemson. Uh, all these things are possible because we have been doing what you're doing. We mentor students, faculty work closely with them. We are highlighting the possibilities and the opportunities. And so I want to challenge you to continue being as visible as you can be because it's only when people see the possibilities that they can dream about what they can become. Kudos to your organization. Again, I am really honored. And when you want to be inspired, come to this campus, come to UMBC and see students of all races, including African Americans, excelling in information technology. Thank you.